All right, everybody, it's Ellen here, and we are in week one of our birthday month boot camp. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple ideas of things you need to be working on this week to ensure your future success for the birthday month of May. All right, so um, so here's a party idea for you. All right, Easter candy. If you're doing any parties this week, the next week, it's a great way to kind of do some Easter candy. A lot of times, here's a little secret, our Easter candy is really our Christmas candy just with Easter colors. <laughs> candy is candy, all right? And so we have some cool recipes online. Um, I think on your my.tupperware site, they have um, the little eggs and the chocolate eggs that you can make and things like that. Um, but you can also keep it super simple and have pretzels and just drizzle um, light colored, different, different colored pastel colored chocolates on top with some sprinkles. You can keep it so simple. You can even just dip um, Oreos in, in white chocolate and then put some pastel sprinkles on there. Um, so there's lots of different things that you can do. All right, I do have, here's a good recipe for you. Um, um, I think it's 16 Oreos, um, a brick of cream cheese, and you mix all that together. You crumble, crumble up the Oreos so you can put them in your Power Chef and chop them up. Mix it all together and then roll them into dough, like or roll them into balls, right? Roll them into balls and then um, set them aside. And they might be a little bit warm, so you might want to put them in the fridge so they'll get a little harder. And then you um, dip them into chocolate. You can do white chocolate or um, regular chocolate. And then you can drizzle pastel colors or sprinkle on top. They are delicious. And it doesn't matter what kind of Oreos you use. It's whatever your taste is. So when I make these, they barely make it 24 hours in my house. All right. Because the kids just love them. They're like little Oreo truffles. All right. So there's a tip for you. All right. To date those parties and get things rolling for, uh, going forward towards our month of May. So those would be parties that you'd want to be holding in April. And the parties that you hold in April, you'll be able to date parties into later April and on into May. All right, so think Easter themes, think candy, think um, just all those kind of things. You can even um, pull in, you know, uh, he has risen sort of a, a theme to it, whatever it is um, that you prefer that speaks to your heart that you're excited about, because if you're excited about the theme, your customers will see it and they'll absolutely love it. All right. So then also, um, as you're going forward, we have some amazing say yes offers going right now. Okay. And our, our party offer for the new consultants as well. So you want to make sure that you're talking to people and even just kind of thinking about who would you like to work this business with because if you have not yet recruited a business building buddy you need one all right because I mean think about it as women we don't even go to the bathroom alone why in the world would we start a business by ourselves all right, so think about somebody that you can invite to come along with you in the business and then talk to me. I can, um, I can help you, I can coach you, give you the word choices. Um, I can even talk to your people. We can do three-way calls, we can meet up. You can bring them to one of our events. Um, we can do a three-way chat. We can do lots of different things so I can help you. That's what I'm here for, all right? Okay, so here's some other things you want to make sure if you have not registered for Spring Fling yet, you register ASAP because we are going to, you're going to find out all the facts for our birthday month at our Spring Fling. So you want to make sure that you are in the know and that you have everything ready to go. Um, and so you want to be at that Spring Fling. Now, all of it will be released after Spring Fling, so you will be able to read about it. Um, but there's something about being there and the excitement. Now, for those of you not in the Ohio area, we might be having an online option for you, um, and I will keep you posted. Please reach out to me and let me know that you're interested in an online option um, should that become available to you, all right? So just let me know on that. And then also you want to, so this week, again, we're focusing on your activities this week. You want to attend the sales rally. That is our Tupper Tuesday. All right. So this Tuesday, it's the 2nd of April. Um, and actually our regional Chris is going to be joining us. I'm so excited. All right. So he's going to be there. Um, so that's very, very exciting. So it's the, um, the 2nd of April, it starts 6.30 to 8.30. Um, and so, so it's gonna be an amazing rally. We had so many amazing accomplishments last month that we're gonna be recognizing. And that's always fun to kind of see and drink in, right? Um, so that's going on. Um, and if you can't appear live, definitely watch online. We, um, we do Zoom, we also do um, Facebook Live. We also do little clips on our, um, 
on our studio page. So you can catch little clips, but it's nice to watch it from start to finish. So just get your favorite beverage, get some popcorn snacks, and then just watch that watch and take notes and just be a part of the excitement. All right. So that's one thing that you need to be doing this week as far as an activity. Um, and then hold a party this week, hold a party this week. It is great to start the month out strong with a party already in the books, all right? So if you don't have a party data for this, this week, um, Facebook parties are something you can quickly pull in to have a party this week so you can have some activities so you can be in front of people. That's the key, is getting in front of people. The more people, it's kind of a game. The more people you can get in front of, the better your odds of success, whether it's dating, recruiting, sales, whatever it is, okay? So you wanna get in front of people this week. So whether you do it via Facebook or maybe you just host a little quick event in your house, you can do some, some Easter candy um, recipes, you can do some fun little hands-on activities, create an experience in your home, or if you can find a local restaurant or someplace that has a side room that you can do some stuff in, that's always great. Um, I know Donato's Pizza sometimes lets you use the party room. You just need to order some pizza. Um, and a lot of times they will let you do a demo. So if you're making some candy, something that doesn't need a microwave or anything like that, that'd be quick and easy to do. All right, so um, another party idea. I have a party idea for you. All right, so our fridge merch are still on order. And so, well, they're still on sale. <laughs> you can order them, all right? So you can still order our fridge merch. They're still on sale, offer them to the customers. An amazing offer and people love, love, love our fridge merch. If you're not already experiencing them, you need to experience them right away so then you can fall in love with them. And then when you're in love, you'll be able to talk to, talk to people about them and you'll think every household needs them, all right? So you can hold a no fooling around fridge smart party as a foolproof way to preserve your fruits and vegetables, okay? So it's a great way for you to be able to... Um, to preserve your fruits and vegetables. You can offer challenges. You can do survey party this week really quick using the fridge smarts, talk to people about them, um, just to kind of get them educated on our fridge smarts. Because once they know about them and they experience them, they want them and they tell everyone about them. Anytime I'm working a booth or something somewhere, a customer comes up and I'm like, I love my fridge smarts. And if there, another customer happens to be sitting, standing there, they're sold because I'm not the one selling them. You know, when a customer is giving a testimonial that will always carry more weight than me saying you should buy these they're amazing because they're like of course you want me to buy them because you're making money <laughs> and I'm like no 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 <laughs> you need them <laughs> all right so fridge smart party pull it in this week all right you want to have that activity going all right so you want to also be working as you're working on dating a party for this week reaching out to customers inviting them to your party that you're holding this week or whatever be talking to them about parties in April and date them on future and down at the road in April because the more parties I know you're thinking Alan birthday months in May why would I date them in April April. The more parties you hold in April, the more parties you're going to be able to date from those parties into May. And so it kind of, it's like a snowball effect. So if you start the snowball now, by the time you get to May, it's going to be huge and you're going to have some more dating than you know what to do with. All right. So, um, so definitely work on continuing to date parties here into April and weeks three and four or two, three and four um, from your activities this week, okay? All right, and then also, again, you really want to, and I already kind of reiterated this, you want to, um, to be thinking about your business building, buddy. You know, and if you already have one, maybe you want another one, right? Because every, people ask me all the time, they're like, how can you be this excited about your business after all these years? You know what excites me? new recruits. That excites me. When I find somebody and I am like, oh my gosh, they'd be amazing at this. And they join the team. Oh, I'm so excited. It is like a B12 shot in my arm of like energy. And it just, just keeps me going. That is what fills my cup. That's what puts gas in my tank. All right. So, so that's a great way for you to kind of invigorate your business. And also it helps you kind of hold you accountable, you know, because if you have somebody counting on you, you're kind of like, oh, wow, I better step up. I better know this information, right? So it's not a bad thing. It's a good accountability, right? Okay, so, um, and then make the decision, you know, decide what is it you want out of the business. Start dreaming, you know, as you're kind of going through these activities each week in our boot camp, be dreaming. Dreaming about what you want next, once you what you want more, um, a challenge that you want to face. Maybe it's a fear that you want to face, something that you're afraid to try and tackle in your business. Um, it's a great time to be able, you know, it's spring. 
it's the season of renewing, you know, new growth. Um, everything's coming back to life after the winter. You know, it's such a great time of the year to just kind of, you know, imagine what's the best version of you, you know, um, what's the best version of your business? What's, what's your ideal day? Um, I do that. I, um, you know, I've been, we've been trying to go to the gym as a family. Um, my son has a big hike this summer. And so we're trying to kind of get him conditioned and stuff. So we're like, Hey, why don't we all do it? Well, Ella's at track practice. We've been going to the gym and I like the sauna. Okay. That is my reward. I would love to just go and sit in the sauna, but I mean, I feel like I have to do something to earn it, right? So, but when I'm sitting in the sauna, I, I'm on my phone and I use my notes in my phone and I just, it's very stream of consciousness, it's almost like journaling. And so I'm using the notes in my phone and I'm just like, what's my perfect day? And the, my file's name is Thoughts. <laughs> So yesterday it was more about like technical business stuff. I want to do this. I want to do this. Da, 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 da. I want to tackle this. Da, da, da. And, um, and then yet today it was more like, um, it was more like, what's my perfect day? Like, what does my perfect morning look like? What is my perfect work day where it will look like? What does my perfect schedule look like? Like, what does that look like? What does it look like for the family? What kind of mom am I? Am I? What kind of wife am I? What kind of a leader am I? Um, what, how am I, how am I good to myself? You know, and what am I doing to fill my cup today? And so I just kind of was like, you know, doing all that, but it's important to do that. And to just really think like, what if, like, what if, what if this all worked out? What if it ended up being bigger than I imagined? What if the worst thing that happened was I got courage to be me, to be myself and to be confident in that? What if I got courage to speak up? in life, in everyday life, you know, to the person that kind of cuts in front of you in line, you're like, hey, but you don't say anything, you know, um, you know, things like that. So, um, so just think about that. So I want you to think about that. That's your last assignment for the week. All right. So this is week one. All right. Go, go for it. Share with me your, your awesome ahas, amazing things that are happening to you. Um, any struggles that you have, just reach out. That's what I'm here for. All right. Well, thank you, everybody.